Hi, I'm TDG Payne, bringing you another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to stream live with the Hophog HD PVR. I prefer Livestream.com for a good streaming site because it has a great program called Procaster. I don't really like Ustream because I think their video quality is kind of bad, and if you want good quality, you have to use uh, Adobe Flash Media Encoder and it kind of slows down my computer when I'm running Total Media Extreme at the same time. Also, if you want to stream on Ustream.com, you have to use a program called VH Screen Cap. I don't know if you guys have used this, but I don't really like it because it kind of distorts the picture, and it's hard to fiddle with and just to get right, but uh, Procaster is much better. So um, you can download that here on Livestream.com. The link will be in the description. So we'll just close that. Once you install Procaster, just open that up and um, you'll have to sign in using your Livestream account. If you don't have one, just go to Livestream.com and make one. So sign in and you'll see the screen. Your channel lists will be up here. I'll just choose this one. And uh, the camera, your camera device will be shown down here in this list. This is what happens if you choose the HD PVR capture device directly and you try to stream. It will just say opening error camera. It can be busy. You can't stream with the Hophog HD PVR directly. It just doesn't work. The only place it will work is in Total Media Extreme. So hit record video. To stream, you'll have to have this open at all times and Procaster open. From here, select custom quality and make sure this little TV monitor is checked, not the controller. Go to Preferences, and go to Video. These are the settings you'll need. I just select No Camera up there. I usually do 500 by 282, which is a 16 by 9 ratio, which is the Xbox, the Xbox HD is 16 by 9. And, um, yeah, make sure you select 16 by 9. Make the, these two checked. 30 frames per second, 750 kbps. I don't really know what keyframe intervals does. I just leave it at 3. You can mess with it. Deinterlacing, no, because we're not recording with um, standard definition. For audio, make the target bit rate 128 and the sampling rate 44100. Make the channel stereo. For the desktop settings, you don't really need to mess with these. The only thing I choose is to um, to not show the mouse because I don't want to accidentally have my mouse in front of the stream and like get it on the stream. So I just leave that unchecked, but you can do whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. So hit save. And now all you need to do is hit go live. And now from here, you'll see this green box. And what you want to do is line it up on the edges around the preview window of Total Media Extreme, just like this. Just like that. And just to let you know, the outer edges of the green bars is where is exactly where it will be cut off. So you just wanna line up the edges of the green bars with the edges of the preview. And down here on your media bar, you will see your preview of what you're streaming, so you can see what it looks like, and your time recorded, your frames per second, and kbps. Now, just to stop, you hit that, or you can hit shift plus escape. For the mixer, make sure your source is set to speakers audio, and set it as at a reasonable level. If you see the, the VU meter go to red, that means it's way too loud and in the stream it will sound distorted so you don't want that so make it at a reasonable level between like negative 12 and 0 in the yellow region you'll see what I'm talking about and if you want to do commentary on your stream hit add source and select whatever microphone you're using and then test your microphone to see if it's working and mine is right there from here you can see the chat so there's no need to open up your web browser at all. You can stay in Procaster and still see the chat, which is pretty cool. 
And that's pretty much all you need to do to stream on Livestream. I really like Livestream Procaster. It's a great program. But um, there is one catch with Livestream. Down here on yours, you will not see this. You will see a, thing, a tab that says Get Verified. And if you want people to see your stream in the channel guide, which means if you just go to a live stream and search up a channel, yours will not show up unless you get verified. To get verified, you just have to stream a lot. I, it took about a week for me. I have two verified channels. So if, you're really, if you really like streaming, I suggest taking the time and effort to get verified and you're done. That's all you'll need to do to stream on live stream. I think it's very easy. It's better than VH screen cap. If this video helped you and you enjoyed it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please comment. If you want to see how good the quality is of this stream, you can visit my live stream. The link is in the description. And thanks for watching.